This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Oh. Uh, Corey, uh, you look kind of pissed. Um, listen, I'm sorry I had to bump you last week. I completely messed up the numbers. And really, I didn't think Safety Professional was appropriate for episode 666. And, you know, I want to make sure, you know, you don't get on it. Oh, jeez! Ah! Ah! Ah, birds! Why does it smell like bacon? Ah! Hey, guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show 666. Finally, we've made it here. <laughs> Finally, we can end after this. Uh, scary music things in the background. This yeah, sound later. effects CDs. That's right. For Halloween. Uh, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. You heard him already. Bobby F. J. Town joining us once again from Floodtown, USA. Johnstown, PA. Hello. And he has friends with him. I'm here. I have friends. I have puppets. I puppets have... are all the rage in pro wrestling right now. Puppets and pops. If it starts with a P... That's Bobby's work. Not going to go any further. <laughs> okay. Also with us from Beacon, New York. He is the only Mayhemer with the future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Hello, Swag. It's good to be here. Wow. What the hell? What is, wow. You definitely worked in a haunted house at one point. No, actually, I never have. <laughs> Jeez. I just want to do a gimmick. That's just how you feel after work. <laughs> yes, that's. Oh yeah, sometimes yeah. Mike just has a Mike just has a fever. And the only risk coming in is more cowbell. <laughs> I'm just gonna slip into that. On, no, on please game. don't. No, I'm going. Hey, if you're bringing out puppets, I'm bringing out a demonic <laughs> voice. <laughs> Real, wait, how does that one to one? Demonic voices. What are we doing? Also with us in the studio, first time at Sorgatron Media Studio here is Jason Gorey. And we had a little bit of a misunderstanding, if you saw the video or the beginning of the show. Uh, I came up here last week. A little bit of... You you came up here? Knocked on the door, saw a guy Yeah, saw somebody sitting in this spot. I was like, what's going on? Just had this visual of just like a little bit of... He had like a freaking construction hat on. I was like, what's going on? (laughs) He's not scary. And he was was singing to get low. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> like, that was a scary. Fair. What the heck? <laughs> like, this is, people think stuff that. is scary. Was, this is where Gory's like, not, like, that's too weird for me. It was <laughs> legitimately terrifying. <laughs> I was, I believe that it. was actually show 666. This is 667. This is 666.5. <laughs> I, I think we have the numbers right. Either way, we're calling this officially 666. So, there. We need to go fund me to send Bobby to Everett, Washington. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. do you need Funko. to go up to Ever? Oh, for Pop. Funko. The Funko. The Funko, the Funko uh, store and factory in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like plastic manufacturing in the end. I hope right? everybody that works there is as tall as the Pop figures. <laughs> oh, so they're, they're just hand painted. It's just there. like a very strange yeah. Oompa Loompa situation, <laughs> right? It'd be normal people. Maybe, right. if, maybe I guess, pop but pop size, like it's a super, it's yeah, like but a pop size. Like They'll so get that little thick. chick from American Horror Story to like just paint pops. There you go. <laughs> she could get more detail because she could get closer. There you go. <laughs> and they're small hands. Live at night and like start making more pops. Maybe I just bought one I, and they just reproduce. I have a feeling like we are about like two years away from a Funko Pop movie. Oh, I oh, know. No. It would Was not it shock one. No. No? no, there isn't like one. Lego. I think you're thinking Ugly Dolls. No, with ugly dolls. there's gonna be a Playmobil movie. What? You sure about that? You what? Have to look yeah, I think there was a Funko year. Pop movie. The question is, will it be better than Detective Pikachu? I think not. Well, Detective Pikachu has a Detective Pikachu, so that's, that's right. That's right. It's like the rated G well. Deadpool. Uh, anyways, uh, this <laughs> is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's it's half Deadpool, half Are You My Mother. 
it's it's kind of half Ted, isn't it? Ah, no. Just a little buddy companion movie? Yeah, but without the interesting parts of Ted. Well, who wants to see that? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, Ryan Reynolds <laughs> doesn't say fuck you, Thunder, because he is Pikachu. So he appreciates yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he makes yeah. the lightning with the thunder. That's right. Uh, anyways, this is the wrestling <laughs> game. So would Pikachu be Ted's worst enemy? Uh, oh my god, I, I would love to see that. Could Pokemon it be like a Ted versus happen. Pikachu There's movie, Teddy like Freddy versus Jason? Uh, Oh. Like Mark Wahlberg just say, <laughs> all right, Ted, use drunken punch. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, neither one of them weren't wearing pants. So this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please subscribe to us on your favorite podcast or video platform. Uh, you can also uh, ask your Google Home uh, to, to play the show or ask your Amazon Echo uh, to play Wrestling Mayhem Show on TuneIn. And uh, you can email address. Uh, email at, yeah, me, email us. Us at good times, good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com 412206wms0 at mayhem show on the twitter facebook page and group for wrestling mayhem show and on the facebook page we are live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern time and other platforms across sorgatron media actually i think I, we did this right and we're actually live on the wrestling mayhem show periscope Ooh. as well periscope me... still a thing well, it's more just kind That's of Twitter crazy. video. I think we're live. I don't know. It the says it just plays down It says on the one thing, it's not popping up, and I I still need to try to get that right, going. Kelsey but you guys it. here on Facebook hanging out, and we really do appreciate that. Also, uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters. We've been getting you guys a lot of content lately, and some of you have been responding to that, and I really do appreciate that. We we know you're listening out there. Uh, first of all, our friends at the fan of the show, one dollar level, Bo Diggity. Woo! Ed Berg, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and Matthew Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment, and Team Hammerfist. At the Pocky Club $5 level, you're getting some videos. Uh, we talked with Gory in the After Dark pre show. Mm, uh, about uh, kind of kind of your visual influences and how uh, Gory got me into independent wrestling. But you didn't know that? Mm mm. He's well, the unless reason. Unless you talked about it before, but uh, I'm sure I have at some point, but probably not recently for this crop of recent viewers. Um, but yeah, you complete your, everything. Uh, everything of us attached to independent wrestling on this show is his fault. This is mine. <laughs> I'll take the. I haven't got a check yet. What the heck? You haven't got a check yet? Where's, where's that? Uh... <laughs> I didn't say that there's money. I mean, there's no I money. Mean, if just... it makes you feel better, neither have I. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, but, uh, uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I owe you a highlight reel. Uh, Pocket Club $5 yeah, level, friends. Yeah, there you go. Bradley. Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, uh, Dave Potter, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. Our friend at the Pizza Club $10 level, Ryan Clark. Actually, at thirteen dollars, and our uh, final manager of the show, uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. You guys support the show too. Help us keep the lights on here and uh, clean the window after what Gory did Good outside to off. it. Uh, at, uh, I need to power wash the sidewalk. Patreon, <laughs> Patreon doc, Patreon.com slash wrestling show. Wash. You're gonna power wash the sidewalk. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sure it's not the worst thing that's happened out there. I think there Maybe? was some real stuff. Uh, I think it was some right next to it that was a little old. It wasn't for me though. That was from you. <laughs> <laughs> so stuff goes down in this neighborhood once in a while. Anyways, um, I I, I want to start off with um, there was this do 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 do. Uh, our friend Matt Carlin's says that happening now. My kid is watching the new Firefly Funhouse segment and insists he's not scared. Hmm. Mm. There's some of us. I believe there. him. A rabbit was yeah. reanimated this week. The rabbit was reanimated. Yeah, was. Oh, I didn't catch yeah. that. Okay. He, he he had he had like stitches or not stitches, but like band aids all over him. But he was basically killed off last week. Yeah, yeah, that was the first um no second murder on on WWE. <laughs> Wait, maybe <laughs> well no third. Maybe third. There's been a there's been a lot, lot. actually a lot of yeah, people have died in WWE. Yeah, it's just they they do it like once every ten years. I mean, think about it. Very live match person. Very the live match. Murdered. There was the Paul Bearer and Cement. Uh, mm-hmm. Exploding <laughs> limo. Exploding limo. Um, um, which yeah. someone, and I'm not going to say who, but someone in the White House thought that was real. Mm-hmm. Mm. Alania. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, jeez. Well so we 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 we've come. I don't know. I, I guess imagine this is this is mostly full circle for Bray Wyatt on these Firefly Funhouse segments, which I I don't know what we do here except well, for maybe a full, debut. Full circle. We have to see what happens in the ring. Mm-hmm. Yes, that that's full circle. I like, hope the puppets just fight for him. Is it? I hope I he has a new move. Try and figure that one out. I was thinking it was going to be something like kind of like Ben Balor does, like the the demon, as mm-hmm. it were, only comes out every once in a while because he said he can control it. Mm-hmm. So, or is uh... he just going to be dressed like that all the time? So he's he's you know wowie zowie most yeah. of the time yeah. until someone pisses him off. Like yeah. his finishing move is scary Bray Wyatt, it, or it's, it's like if there was a demon No Way Jose. <laughs> so speaking of No Way Jose. <laughs> Because I had this imagination of... Why? Wait, wait, wait. Speaking of no hair... No, no. Bear with me here. What if, when he comes out, because we've established these puppet characters, mm-hmm. he just comes out with giant versions of the puppets. Oh, my God. And that's the new, and like, scary line. scary conga line rosebuds. <laughs> yes. Yes, and please. Yes. Yes? We're in I with want this? I want we, we want yes. that? Yes. This visualize. Yes. Yes. I want him to walk out with the whole, uh, like, stage set. Like on stage when he comes out. Oh, well, well, what, what like the, you could re, you could redo that with the st- with the graphics behind uh-huh. the. Uh, yeah. yeah, you could absolutely do that. Man, these that are, I could see. These are all these are all good ideas. WWE, please uh, so, steal them. Steal yes, them. please we're, steal we're all giving these. You, we're we're giving you gold here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So I mean, and this is uh, you know again very appropriate for episode six sixty six, but um. You know, not everything has worked out well with Bray over the years. Um, there was something, there was something about him going off about about something, and Bray, and Randy Orton responding with, "You you, you made them spend a, a half a million dollars to have projection bugs at WrestleMania." Yeah, yeah. you know that was weird. You know, I I don't know how that was supposed to play out. I, it can't I don't know either. I didn't know it, was it can't on. have been great for people live. Oh, definitely. If right. they're like a half a mile away, they're not going to be able to see some right. projectile in the ring. Right. I mean, this plus, is... even if they can see it, then they can't see what's happening in the match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, this is, you know, Corey, you, you, you've got to be thinking a lot about like how things kind of, you know, I'm thinking stage. Like, you got to think about the back row, how things look, right? Uh, exactly. Because mm-hmm. they're paying money to see it, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, it seems a little weird. Also, <laughs> and then of course we have a dark haunted house match that everybody's going to watch on a projector. Um, oh no! Oh no! Is this for real? <laughs> Wait, hold that this up! Hold real. on a second. There we go. This Bobby M J Town wow. is all elite. I love the puppets we, are in there too. Can we send that to them? That's that's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's Alex Cars. Put that the puppet in master. Spot. Thank you so much. <laughs> I I can't imagine anybody else's. Being as awesome as that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's my new job, guys. I just said, congratulations. <laughs> just saw it pop up. I'm like, oh boy. I have, I'm glad. I have to, to I'm glad the show has created opportunities for you, Bobby. I've been signed to All Elite Wrestling. <laughs> now the thing says All Elite, like Bobby FJ Bobby, Town. Bobby, no one on this show works for wrestling companies. What no, talking about? It's true. No, no, nobody. None of us do. No, nobody. Not. Nope. Well, well, except for our guests. <laughs> except for the wrestler. <laughs> yes, except for our guests. You know. Oh, uh, geez. So uh, we'll see what what happens with Bray here. Man, who does he? What's the natural? Like, where does he start? Rollins. Rollins. You yeah. think you? I think right away. Did you see the tweet? I, I shared this in the, the one thing I'd love to see. I don't think that's going to happen, but Sami Zayn. Yeah. Really? I, he tweeted need, back at Joe. We need Sami to have something. Yeah, yeah. He tweeted um, back at Joe. So I, I lost my thought. <laughs> he, he, he also tweeted Rollins and Reigns. He's like, hey, guys, yeah. sorry about all the terrible stuff I've done you to you in the past much. years. If you're ever looking for a third for a Shield review, Reunion. Oh, I'd be wow. all in. <laughs> you can do the, the shield, uh, Sierra Echo, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we wow. We. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. that his icon is like a cartoon version of yeah. ha- Happy Bray Wyatt right now. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, this is, this is going well. 
Um, again, and I saw I, I shared it on the Mayhem Show Twitter. Um, Tom Savini. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, he did the thing. He well, his he, he talked about his team <laughs> that worked on it and gave them props and everything about the 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 new mask and everything. And I know, I know, Mike, you were talking talking about the overtones of the um a new 52 joker in this in this yeah and they, thank you partner and others for the juggalo jokes uh that i've been tagged in since uh, I, was, I appreciate I that was trying to avoid the juggalo joke to be honest <laughs> it kind of goes i mean i like it's... the mask oh go ahead go ahead I was, I was gonna say i like the mask but i i wish it was a little bit more like the concept art wait, wait, wait. oh i didn't even see the concept, oh, I didn't see the concept. concept art for it. it it was like more like a realistic mouth being mm-hmm. stretched out. They might have that for for when he's actually like in ring. Yeah, it, it was it was really cool. Like the concept art was just really good. Speaking of this and this, this local connection, we were talking about a little bit. And I wanted to save it for the show. Uh, Gory, you know, you, you have your masks as well, and we were talking about you have a local connection as well mm-hmm. for how those are made. Uh, who is also from the Savini School, right? Yes. So, um, and you know, we, we talked. About, I know, I know, Larry has. Um, uh, maybe not been happy with some of the things like the Basham Brothers uh, masks. I think at some point, like the, the new you mean mask. Bludgeon Brothers? Bludgeon Brothers? What did I say? Bashams? <laughs> no, I was like, what? that Bashams was a while ago. A that was a while ago. Where are yeah. the Basham Brothers now? We know we we found Joe Farmer. Oh, we know we need to talk about that too. We found Joe Farmer, but uh, the Basham Brothers are just MIA. Um, but uh, what was my point? I forget. What do you, like, uh, Corey? What do you think about like you know? these kind of Savini masks that have been popping up. We've seen the Legend Brothers got it this time, you know, versions of the of the sheep mask and everything. We've seen, I think, one of Triple H's, like, skull mask was made by the team as well. Um, what do you think about, like, that that kind of, like, them using, like, that kind of local talent? I think it's great because, like, Tom Savini, he's one of the best out there. Mm-hmm. And his students are... All- just as good as him mm-hmm. and jordan Patton shows that with his work mm-hmm. and jordan Patton works on your mask yeah he's the one who works on my mask as well so um i mean this is like a whole different uh, we've always had scary wrestlers always yeah i mean back to i mean i, I, I can think bruiser of papa Sean, bruiser brody uh maybe not you know the theatrics mm-hmm. i feel like papa shango was kind of the first like papa shango was what made me got into wrestling so oh really yeah that and make an ultimate warrior puke <laughs> sold i was like that's it yeah oh. seeing that when i was that age i was like how is this happening? i remember we, we had toddy here with some old wwf magazines i'm always remember like i remember explicitly reading an article about papa shango and how like weird and twisted he was in that because they just you know all that expedition of, of of those characters worked really well with that that's also when i'm just like yeah wrestling's still real right yeah <laughs> so, like ultimate warrior bleeding like what black blood from yeah, his head. yeah mm-hmm. yeah just having that that's that goes back to like the bugs yeah that were projected it wasn't a physical something like physically you, like you could see it but it wasn't people knew it was a projection mm-hmm. you know but back then when you actually physically see ultimate warrior puking oatmeal on the refs while he's convulsing or you know the blood running down his head isn't cgi Mm-hmm. It's. I think it makes it more real. I, I remember um, explicitly the uh, Ultimate Warrior Snake Pit, where he yeah. walked in the room mm. with uh, Jake the Snake, and uh, I remember like. And again, I'm watching these on like Sunday mornings, right? And just being like creeped out yeah. as a I don't know what ten year old at the at the time, like some kid watching, um, like maybe Carlin's kid who's completely not scared. Of the new of the Firefly Funhouse, right? Definitely now. not scary. Like at all. some kid is just like, okay, that was creepy, and that's not okay, right? Yeah. Like some kid, and <laughs> strangely, that's when it's successful, right? Mm-hmm. When it's just like, hey, we just creeped the crap out of kids. That's uh, the best when you can. Yeah, because it, it's know. it's. I mean, you've seen this. You it know. makes it that more real to them because they're a kid. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, how many times have you made kids cry? Oh, I I would try to make one a show if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it goes with it. I mean, so, but uh, I want to talk a little bit more about this. But first, I want to give a shout out. Hey, there's some wrestling happening coming up that you guys can check out. I know we talk about a lot of local stuff, a lot of uh, stuff on our digital platforms, but we are actually going to be kicking off a uh, iPay per view 
series uh, next week, May 25th, with our friends at Angel Gate Wrestling. Um, it's uh, May 25th at 7 p.m. If you maybe don't want to go double or nothing and want to kind of check out some uh, women's wrestling, support somebody uh, on uh, this level, uh, here's your chance to check out uh, you know friends of the show like Ray Lynn, Lady Frost, as well as uh, Christina Marie, Queen Amanada. I'm going to get really good at saying that. I have problems with that one. Uh, Ronnie Nicole, Casey Spinelli, and so much more. Casey Spinelli, a first Angel Gate show that I got to attend, just like was the show, right? I mean, all the girls did great, but she like just took over that between the intermission. Like, I have never seen her before. Have you ever been on a show with her? No. Big personality. Um, There's a, I always say like the main event, you know when the main event's there at Mm. intermission, right? They just, they're just going. And, uh, and and I think she's like the main event of, of the women's uh, wrestling as well. Um, but, it, you know, made made everybody, made sure everybody had a good time at that show and uh, some great matches. I think she has like multiple, multiple uh, um, um, belts at this time, at this point across uh, several continents. So uh, mm-hmm. doing some really cool stuff. You can go follow Angel Gate on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Angel Gate PWX. Uh, for more details, and please uh, go over to IndieWrestling.us to find out more information. And uh, there's a link over there if you guys want to go ahead and pre-order the pay-per-view. Uh, we'll be going live with that, and a uh, really good card uh, lined up there. I know uh, one match that has been made is Holiday versus uh, uh, Ray Lynn. Uh, so go check that out, and uh, all those all those are going to be a part of that as well. So um, looking forward to that. So, um, let's see. We've been talking about some scary wrestlers here. Uh, so, so from the one question I had, and I, you know, kind of big question ish, I suppose, was what is a time in wrestling that like has scared you, like as a youth or now or last week, Bobby? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you know stuff that you've seen in person oh, that you know you know that has been like at least giving you a pause right what kind of scary um like kind of like how i was talking about the the um snake pit thing saying mm-hmm. like oh that's or or your uh, or or macho man getting bit by the snake yeah it was a good one i have one go ahead bobby when i was i probably shared this on the show before when i was a child Sid Vicious used to scare the crap out of me. Because he would always come on and say, I am the master and the ruler of the world. <laughs> and it would just like freak me out. And I would always have to say, World Wrestling Federation afterwards. <laughs> because I, I didn't want to accept Sid as like the ruler of the world. <laughs> like it bothered you that much. It bothered me. I was like, is this guy going to take over the world? Mm-hmm. I don't want him to take over the world. Oh, like boy. it was, it scared me. Skid was Sid was a scary dude. So was this like the WWF like uh, mid nineties run he was doing? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then and then transferred over to WCW too when he yeah. was there. Um, maybe that's scary. I don't know. I'm just thinking back to the, to back in the day, and I like the weird things you'd believe when you were younger, mm-hmm. like the, oh, the yeah. Papa Shango oh, yeah. days, right? The, the, we the dumb snake kids. days. We were dumb kids. <laughs> 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 uh, I remember like believing hey, like, like hey, how could kids a, are stupid? <laughs> how could Elizabeth, how could Elizabeth cheat on uh macho with Ric Flair? <laughs> when those pictures you know hit Photoshop the magazine was? to be f- Fair Photoshop was not widely acceptable. No, yeah. no. Like I remember, like having both issues at WWF magazine, like the 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 quote real ones with Macho Man and the doctored ones with Ric Flair, and just looking and just be like, how did they do this, man? Yeah. How did they do this? Right? And they like they investigated had that NASA it. technology back then, right? And they, they they circled all these like tapes, like these Coliseum video tapes uh, that that belonged to Macho Man of like all the matches he was in and stuff yeah. from his library, and it was just like stuff like that. Um, always kind of uh, um, was interesting. Um, Matt thinks that uh, we forget a lot of the creepy stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, says Carlin's. I Murphy. remember Beaver Cleavage. <laughs> Beaver Cleavage. <laughs> Beaver Cleavage. Okay, not that kind of scary. Waylon Mercy was pretty scary. What's that? Waylon Mercy. Waylon Mercy. See, I yeah, didn't yeah, see uh, the, the Cape Fear gimmick. 
Yeah, he was like the predecessor to Bray Wyatt. Um, like, Tina saying, yeah, that, that's why the buzzard's called Mercy. Yeah, Tina saying the oh, yeah, the uh, knife tattooed on his forehead. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. God, I gotta watch some Waylon Mercy. Apparently, lives are gonna be. Um, Waylon Mercy's hands. Tina, Tina's calling up as cheesy as it was the promo for Sting versus Jake the Snake for spin the wheel, make the deal. <laughs> I was scared as a kid. I need to find this one too. <laughs> what? Yeah, I can't remember. What was that? Was that like the Uncensored or something? Or no, that was even before that. Yeah, that was that was before that. Spin the wheel, make the deal. Oh God, I want to say that was Spring Stampede. I might be wrong on that. Let me just let me double check. I. Can see I Scary to kids. Yeah, I'll give you um, one story. I, I don't think I've ever told this. There's a reason that I was never instidu- introduced to NWA, other than not having cable. Um, they had tapes. Like, I rented the hell out of the WWF stuff, right? And there were tapes of, I believe, Starcade. And one of them had the scaffold match. Mm. And I remember seeing it and saying, and kind of being too scared to rent it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, as a kid or as, you know, like, Oh, I don't know if I want to see that movie. Kind of like like uh, that new uh, uh, Brightburn movie. Like, I want to see that. But I don't know if I want to see that in the theater because it looks pretty intense, right? Um, it looks awesome. Intense is good. <laughs> but at the time, you know, it, you yeah. know, as a kid and stuff. And yeah, as a kid. I was exposed to way too many horror movies yeah. by my by Yeah, I think after the Pablo Sean thing, it just got me hooked. So I wasn't really like, scared of it. I was intrigued right. by it. So. Right. So it was just like, but, but the, 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 lightning, the lighting was different. Because you know WWE was very bright, yeah. right? And there was this like that those pictures of the scaffold, and I didn't know who the Road Warriors were. They were the face, face paint guys. And looking at the images, I did not think it was professional wrestling. Mm. I thought it was, I guess, in my head, something akin to what is now UFC and MMA. Mm. I, I'm just like somewhere there's this thing. Also, at the time, everything was wrestling was like real and and and. Definitely, definitely, definitely all of it, right? Mm. Um, so I'm watching that. And I'm like, I don't know if I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> As like an eight year old, yeah. say, I don't think I'm ready for that. Yeah. And meanwhile, I could have been introduced to all these characters that I'm like scanning through the network and looking for the stuff. You know, mm-hmm. like you know, going back through watching old Star Kids, watching old WCWs I've never seen. From yeah, them. I was just watching out of World War Three the other night. So. Oh, yeah. those are a nice. <laughs> oh, those fun... are those are a tough watch. Oh. Those are a fun clusterfuck. I, yes. I there was a point where uh, Booker T and Stevie Ray, like Stevie Ray's getting beat up, and Booker T's standing right by, and he looks at him, and he just walks away. And I'm like, What's your tag team partner? Why did you open him out? What's happening? He was like, uh, I'm going to go over here now. But it wasn't like away. a breakup angle or something. No, it was just, it was uh, just the cluster of everybody going on. He probably didn't even like register that he was there because there was so many people. And them around. trying to do like three commentary teams, it makes you like long for the. Uh, recent segments of hey let's uh have a commentary team and new day is going to do their thing over here yeah you know it's just rough. It, it, people talking over people it was like it, it was so like we're gonna do this thing and despite being one of the biggest production companies in the world uh tv companies in the world we're not going to consider flow of production no i think <laughs> they know? were i think they were just throwing stuff at walls and open it's stuck like mm-hmm. just trying different things out seeing what what can make us different Never from know. the competition? Yeah. Um, Let's have three rings and Tina, a ton of people. Tina is calling out Halloween Havoc 1992. Yeah, I was just about, I was waiting for Is that break. the electric chair match? No, Halloween Havoc 92 was Spin the Wheel, Make the Deal. That was Spin the Wheel, Make uh, the Deal. Okay. Halloween Havoc remember. 91 was the Chamber of Horrors match. I mean, the Chamber of Horrors match is ridiculous. <laughs> I just remembered <laughs> it. I, did, I didn't watch that until I was an adult, so I was never scared of it. But yeah. I just remember another one that scared me. Hmm. Nails. Nails. You remember <laughs> Nails? Yeah. Nails. Man, his promos would come on. I would be like, oh my God, what is this guy? Yeah. Of course, man. Uh, I mean, he, even as I, like, I think that the boogeyman to probably kids whenever he yeah. was around WWE, that really probably mm-hmm. got him because you know, those, those worms were real. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. they saw that going in. So I'm, I appreciate well, the boogeyman. And I think so that much. also creeped out people on several levels. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, wink was probably not scary. even just the and worms, honestly, and probably just somebody spitting something into your own like, I, wait, 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 mouth. I want to go to Bobby, uh, Mike. We'll get to you in a sec. But okay. uh, Doink the clown, like when creepy when Doink came uh, out, evil yeah. Doink, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that music, it, it was the music. It was the creepy clown thing, and and you know, 
I watched enough of it to be scared of that, and that's really what he played on at the time, mm-hmm. right? Like I think it came out like what just a few years before that, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Um, Still in a play, uh, late play, but yeah, nobody else did it. Yeah, so. oh yeah, like let's just do a creepy clown. Yeah. I think it, he started creepy and then went good. Right? He started creepy, then went jokey. Yeah, yeah went once, jokey with that. Once he got a big was involved, that was the. <laughs> uh, man, <laughs> man, Mike, what about you? What, what was that? Um, fuck, I have one. No, I lost it. Uh, fuck. What was it? I have one. I just lost it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I put. Oh no! Up. Early, ma- early mankind stuff. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Early mankind, where he's, in, where he's in like the boiler room with just a little silhouette, and he's just talking. And Is rocking it, uh, weren't, back there, and forth. weren't there early bits about rats? Yes, yeah. or something. He, na- he named one. Of the, he named one of the rats. Okay. Yeah, that was like. That yeah, Ministry of Darkness was mentioned. Uh, I think I, I already said. Um, what the hell? Jen it's says. Convenient. Jen Carlin. Jen Carlin says that Ric Flair's entrance theme scared her as a child. Really? Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, now you love the Charlotte version. It's all techno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh yeah. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Um. Oh, I had something with that. What were you just talking about, Mike? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. The Minist- kind of stuff with the Ministry of Darkness. I mean. You know, when we got to the point where, although where you're the, sacrificing, oh yeah, sacrificing yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was again like you know we were in this like kind of getting they realish. Dennis Knight and Comedian. Yeah, yeah, we're getting this realish <laughs> thing and this cult thing is happening on on WWF at the time. Um, you know, it, it it kind of like oh that's that's a little I don't know about this. Yeah, Big right. Daddy V. Big Daddy V just at least Midian had all his clothes on. I don't know what was scary. Uh, Dick... <laughs> that was yeah, Midian, yeah. Viscera, Viscera, or uh, Big Daddy V when he was um, um, uh, trying to get the spicy World meatball. Largest love machine. <laughs> oh man! At or... least he didn't get anybody pregnant with a hand. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. He was a little sexual chalk in two wasn't he? A little he? bit. Yeah, a little bit like the what? like the gothier version. Yeah, like. It was sexual dark chocolate. Oh no! Oh no! Really? Because he was gothic. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, huh? He was like if Mark Henry went to ceremony back in the day. Do you ever? Do you remember ceremony? Mm-mm. Oh, it was above a uh, club lo- or it was below Club Lago. And it was the creepiest goth club you could probably ever go to. I went there once, and I just oh, stood around like. There. I was like, ah, uh, no. Man, in the <laughs> late 90s, out. I felt brave walking into Hot Topic. No, 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 not walking into the into Still, Hot Topic. Hot Topic was great Walking back then, into though. the back of Hot Topic, we're like, oh, there's some shit in here. Yeah, yeah that's just like, yeah. like, Hot Topic felt like the place where <laughs> yeah, you discovered... It's not all, it's not all unicorns no, and no, it some pops, pretty one. It's a like, wall of pops and Captain, <laughs> Captain Marvel. It was like... There was just a lot of leather. You felt like you felt like if you walked into the back of a Hot Topic in the late 90s, you're about to get introduced to witchcraft. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> I, that. I just brought up Johnny the Homicide. They, they always had some like Cradle of Filth playing yeah. in or something like that. Yeah, yeah. now I you go in there, Newfound Glory is like blasting. Yeah, it's, like, it's uh, just like, what is uh, this? This isn't Spencer's. I have the what Hot the... Topic employee exclusive pop. <laughs> See, topic, case yeah. and point. Okay. It was given to me it was by good. a former employee of Hot Topic. A for- Wait, are you getting some shady backroom deals on your uh, on your pop collection there? In the leather yes. section. It was in the leather <laughs> section. Was the there leather. was never real leather in Hot Topic. Oh, I'm sorry, pleather section. Thank you, thank you very much. No, back to the day. Leather and Hardy Boy sleeves. It was all about pleather. It was all about pleather and those pants that were way too big. The Jinkos. Jinko. Yeah, the Jinko should have worn yeah. them today. I still got a pair. I had some of those. Heck yeah. Yeah, or or I, I warmed to them. Uh, gathering juggler. Yeah, of course, to. of yeah. course. There were the only pants you could fit a two liter in the back pocket. Somebody stuck. <laughs> you know? it, was, like, it, it was you could carry two, but like you're kind of walking a little slow. Our friend that but, was a big kind of tech though guy. He's the guy that jumped on stage with uh with Moby during the the Rolling Rock pay per view in back like what two thousand. Um, he once walked into a theater with the two liter in his front. In, in his pants. Oh yeah, he, he was like walking. He was walking awkwardly, but nobody stopped him. Yeah, 
<laughs> why like, would you? You'd just be like, man, his pants are just way too big. He can't walk in them. That's right. Like that's if, right. He, if parents would wear them today, they could get their kids in the movies for free because they just stick them up under the legs and walk in. Just be like, <laughs> hold on to my calves and just walk right in. <laughs> Tina's talking about walking into Spencer's and feeling brave in the 90s. Hey, there's that sex toy section or vibrator section. Uh, so what is this? They're show? massagers. Massagers, yes. <laughs> Jeez. That was the worst when you were looking for like a good metal poster and then you flip and it's just like a dude with a towel over himself and you're like, wow, like <laughs> being like <laughs> I being didn't, like twelve I didn't or thirteen. Yeah, you're just like, oh man. You're like, oh cool, limp biscuit, corn. Oh, dick. Sweet. Why did what was the placement for it though? It was like, yeah, it was it wasn't Who put it wasn't this stuff sectioned in order? off. They should yeah. give you like anything like do not pass. you know. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, you're saying as they really just did sell openly nude posters back yeah. in the day, didn't they? Yeah, they like did. That, yeah, no I warning, nothing. There wasn't like a black, like one that said, hey, like over 18 or Dude, something like that. The 90s was like crazy. Was it was like the 90s was the perfect like amount of neon and just dark shit. Yeah. Both in, and in, then in, in Batman and Robin happened. Then Batman and Robin happened and we lost that. Uh, it, just both in real life and professional wrestling mm-hmm. because you know how many indie wrestlers got Jinkos as their ring gear. That'd be hard to wrestle in. But everybody went to Hardy Boys, and they're not getting yeah. like the tight ones. Well, like they well were those the Jinkos, or were those the, the um, oh, what were they called? There was something else. The ones with all the straps. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. Like they were black, or they had the bright colors on them. Ah, I can't like, think of what they were called. There are young wrestling fans listening to this. They right have no now. clue what we're they're talking like, about. They're like, what the hell? Go out and get you... your pair of Jinkos. You could. You don't even need a backpack. Nope. You can no, put you, a bo- you can put a book in the back pocket. It's like, like today there's the uh, the tactical pants where you can fit an iPad in the pocket. Yeah, like this was like an you early. Could, you could fit a whole lap like laptop computer yeah. in that back pocket. It was like, like tactical pants is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what Tac- the word the words tactical pants together? Yeah, if it's, it's not military, why are they tactical? It's like, it's like oh. Arthur's tactile neck. <laughs> uh, to me, it was funny. Oh jeez, I love uh, the. I don't know when this became a back in my day show. Actually, it kind of is when we're talking about wrestling. Yeah. How did we even get here? Ministry of Darkness, right? Uh, <laughs> and the Brood. And like, the Brood. Oh, the brood. the brood. The Brood was uh, all. Brood. Was all brood. that? How how was how was Hot Topic in the nineties? Not big into WWF stuff, but now no and now, clue. of course, you have. Like, I, I would love for an employee to just come up through a ring of fire before they checked me out back then. That would have been amazing. There you go. There they, you go. I would have bought so much more stuff. I really, dude. Hold on, it's in the, the back. Was scary, <laughs> <laughs> I never thought the brood was scary. I thought they were just more cool. They were cool. They were cool. Yeah, they were. Kevin Thorne, I mean, they were cool. I, I think to I think to the younger people watching back then, though, the bloodbath would freak you out. Yeah, yeah. because like even. Whenever the god ones would slop somebody, you'd be like, "Oh, it's gross." You know? Ariel but blood, that's ECW? like a different. <laughs> Ariel used to hang upside down on the ropes in the ECW. Well, that was um, that was uh, that was different. Also for, yeah, <laughs> that was a different time. That was a different time. We also had exhibition dancing <laughs> with Kelly weird. Kelly, it's Kelly and Kelly. Dancing. Oh man! I mean Layla, yeah, but what's that? I mean Layla, yeah, she could dance. She could dance. Wait, was she <laughs> a dancer Kelly too? Kind of like Wade. She yeah, was she kind of I mean it was her, it was wasn't it? Listen, um, we weren't in for Kelly Kelly's dancing. It was the promise, it was, it was the like it was the her, faint promise that we were on live I TV and somebody would drop a towel. I mean, they were they were playing yeah. they were playing definitely male emotions there. Yeah. Um not as much as probably the attitude era sable. See that or ECW days. Yeah. yeah. Remember they had technical difficulties, so they just had come on a while and just dance on top of the dance arena. Yeah, like, like that was the best way, filler of time for back then for that crowd. By know? the way, and the and a bunch by the of way, drunk guys like the offer made by Shirley Doe and uh, Duke Davis on Hardcore Memories over on the Indie Wrestling Network still applies if we get to two hundred subscribers. Uh we will attempt to book Kimono Wanalea to dance atop yes. the Sorgatron Media Studio. Uh <laughs> so please subscribe <laughs> to uh, Indie Wrestling dot network. Yeah, There's a free trial. Um, I, you know what? After what we did tonight out there, I, right. I mean, like, oh. there's plenty of. I mean, people They're spitting blood. You know how many people just walk up and yeah. say, "What do you guys do in there?" Just don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 like, Keep moving. Don't yeah. ask questions you don't want answers to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I have to get something in the back. <laughs> <laughs> or you just hear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> you never know. You never know. Anyways, hey, you know what I do know? I like pizza. You like pizza? Great. Bobby, you like pizza. Pizza's great. <laughs> pizza's cool. Uh wanna give a shout out to our friends it's up the streets. No, not scary at all. <laughs> our friends up at Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza uh here in Beachview. Carnegie PA, East End and PNC Park home with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And of course, please, I know there's plenty of you all over the country. I'm looking at names uh over in the northwest and the midwest and is that Midwest? Is Kansas City Midwest? Yeah. Right? Am I getting my geography Kansas? right? I no, need, Kansas no, is like Kansas, right in the middle. Kansas City. Kansas City. The mid, oh. the middle, the middle America. Hello, middle it America. Is, uh, Listen, hello, you, hello. you need to imp- improve your pizza population. And to do that, help our friends at Slice on Broadway in your town. Likely, there is a Broadway Avenue or Broadway Street or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just that for word, first word, Broadway. If you have that, please take a picture of that. Please tweet PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and let them know you would like a slice on your Broadway. These guys have grown from one to four locations in these several years uh, since we've been uh, talking about them on this podcast. Mayhem bump. And we want to help them go nationwide. So let them know. Hashtag. No, no, I'm sorry. At PGH underscore slice. I would like a slice on my Broadway. And please take a picture of your Broadway. That doesn't mean something else somewhere else, does it? I don't think so. I don't think so. What's it opened Okay. Then. Start thinking about that. Uh, so, with that, hey, we'll come back with some other version of the big question here after this message with our guest, Jason Corey. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Soul Taker. Soul Taker. You know, soul Taker. So, yeah, we were talking a little bit off, off air um, here. Uh, that uh, uh, Beast Man, the, the show I saw, International Big Time Wrestling, this past weekend, which I talked about on on the uh, uh, Monday uh, Mayhem wrap up. Uh, he he took on a guy named Soul Caper, Soul Soul Taker, Soul Caliber, Soul Taker, Soul Caliber. Yes. Uh, so Beast Man, Soul Soul Taker. It, it it I think you can imagine how he wrestles, and it was basically like an under Undertaker versus Kamala match. Pretty simple, but fun. Um. And uh, what was it, uh, uh, Mike? You had you had that note, I believe. Yeah, uh, Papa Shango used to wrestle as the Soul Taker in USWA. Wow. See, nothing's original, man. <laughs> you. It's so hard to do. Well, I mean, half of stuff like that is taken from movies as it is, yeah, right? True. I mean, we we talked about your influences off air a little bit, and it's just like it is a lot of that, you yeah. know, like the skin mask. Where's the skin mask on? We were just talking about the thing you did went all. Oh, House of a Thousand Corpses on somebody, yeah. you know, uh, in a match. So. That seems great in Devil's Rejects. Hmm? Where she had that, where she had her boyfriend's face on, and mm-hmm. runs and gets, she just is like, oh, and then runs and gets hit by the truck. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> high, amazing. High points. That's what high I points. wanted from that stuff, <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> but the production was like not there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mad Mike, you yes. have a big question for us. I do. Let's spin right. this on its head. So um, we were, we were talking before, like early before the show, about what our big question would be, and we've done like favorite scary gimmick, favorite scary match. You know, we've done stuff like that before. We've been at this I for wonder, a while. Yeah, six hundred sixty-five times as of present, considering this one's not done. I think, you know, somewhere around there. Um, or some can say it was done in the first ten minutes. That depends on your opinion. Yeah, well, but I wanted to flip that on its head. Who would you pick? To do a scary gimmick that never has before. So that's a big question. Mm. Mm. Like, who is Husky Anyone? Harris now, and we want to become Bray Wyatt? Yes. On paper. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like, I thought of this question. I don't even know my answer yet. I so. got one. Okay. But, <laughs> oh, I think Bobby has a visual for his answer. I yeah. want... I know she's done it before, but she hasn't done it in WWE yet. I want freaking scary clown Oscar. Mm. That's that, what I want. That's what I've always wanted. Wouldn't that be a nice second to this uh, new iteration of Bray Wyatt? Yeah. Mm. Or Nikki Cross. I feel so bad. I'm so, back on that. I feel so bad. I think we were talking about this earlier. Uh, uh, Trip Cassidy oh, tweeted, tweeted, uh, uh, oh, some somebody had tweeted him 
saying tagging him saying oh so new bray wyatt is trip cassidy with a budget Mm. Mm. Uh, you see a little bit i've only seen one match i caught him in tennessee a few weeks ago but uh i'm sure bray probably got that Bray, bray probably has had this idea by himself yeah, that was that was the biggest thing is is that write up that they did with the Savini school said it was a lot of like his own. Is his mask a clown? I thought I it comes off as a clown. Vibe. You didn't get a clown? Vibe? Like, no, no, I got like a gremlin vibe from it. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, like, it's like somebody said it's like a mix of Violator from Spawn and the Joker. Oh yeah, yeah it's very so Violator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, God, Spawn. Remember, Spawn was cool. I hope, yeah. the, I hope this movie does something. I, wa- I watched that whole HBO series. Oh, dude, I own it all on DVD. Oh. <laughs> on is a rumored Mortal Kombat 11 DLC character. He's supposed to be there. He better be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even think you can watch Spawn on, if you get HBO Go. I don't think so. That's no. weird. I, it's, I don't it's, think they have the rights for it anymore. That sucks. Anyways, back to the the answers. Probably uh, on Amazon for like two bucks. Yeah, My yeah. answer is Spawn. <laughs> Your answer is Spawn. Wait, Who would you have be Spawn, Bobby? Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. There you go. Uh, uh, like Mad Mike. Go a little bit more on brand and say Titus O'Neil, but okay. What? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or Titus. Bobby. You know what? I'll take <laughs> Titus as one. Dear WWE films. Bobby Lashley might take a might do like because he's got the jackness for it. Uh, he can do it. Yeah. I don't picture Titus is taller though, right? I don't picture yeah. Spawn. Titus is, Titus is a tall man. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty I don't tall. picture Spawn as being like a jab yeah, dude. Yeah, but do you think that while they're filming, he's just gonna fall and slide under stuff? <laughs> <laughs> like I think that'd be the thing. Like he'd be welcome like, well, to the wa- stuff, hell. Welcome to stuff. the wacky adventures of Spawn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he can slide into hell. <laughs> <laughs> he just trips and falls into a portal back home, and he's like, "Oh shit, I'm here." How'd you get the hell? Oops. Hold on, I gotta go back to hell. That's how he exit every scene. He just runs and falls and he's gone. (laughs) Can we petition someone to make the wacky adventures of Spawn? (laughs) Like, I want Spawn done in the fashion of Teen Titans Go. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, man. These are good ideas. Hey, you never know what's going to happen when this movie hits. Maybe it'll be big and we will get, like, these weird spinoffs. You know, we'll get the... um, the uh, uh, was it the superhero squad version of, of Spawn? Yes, <laughs> that should be the chibi version. I want oh them to make God. an Avengers, but with all horror characters. You mean like just like dark? <laughs> them killing people? Yeah, <laughs> just seeing who could like. <laughs> like Wasn't Savage Dragon? Image? I'm pretty sure it's just Justice League. Is it? Mm. Mm. They killed all a lot right. of people. They did. They did. It happens. Back to the question. The question. Yes. The question uh, at hand. Does anybody have a? I, 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 have, I have my answer. Mad Mike has one. All right. So, um, I was thinking about this. I'm like, I need someone entirely wholesome that can just go dark. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, like, Finn Balor kind of does that. And then I'm like, oh, of course, the Demon Bailey. <laughs> that, would that would be good. That's oh, what we man. need. We need the demon Bailey. Like she's she already, did. she's already Firefly Funhouse. She did wear, but uh, yeah, she she's one. worn Balor's jacket and everything, <laughs> and like, but like we need evil, wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flowing tube men. There's, I don't we need know. like when she hugs children, they go limp because she's stealing their soul. I don't know. If like you, I want wait, everything. Wait, 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 I need to roll back. We evil, uh, wacky, inflatable uh, men. Arm flailing um, tube men. Yes. Um, several months ago, when I think Reaper Matt Connor came back to uh, Black Diamond, they had one of those. It was a ghost, w- wacky, amazing thing that like came up, and I didn't. It was sitting there, and I didn't realize what the hell it was, and it like, came up like right in front of me when I was filming. And I'm just like. Is that like a? Did Matt know about it's it? It's a scary. I don't. I don't know. I hope he didn't. And he just <laughs> came out. and was like, and he was like, what the? <laughs> but it was just like so. Like it's a giant ghost, but it's a wacky. Like it wasn't doing the thing. Yeah. Like 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 the as crazy as as you know Bailey's or the one you see at the car dealership. But still, it's just like you didn't expect that, yeah. right? Uh, but <laughs> sorry, That's but so good. there's there's a precedent for it. Yeah. I guess, and I guess just shop a Halloween store, <laughs> and you just set up the entrance. So, uh, spirit, spirit Halloween will supply all your needs. Is that is that a thing when when people do uh, 
spooky wrestler is is spirit halloween kind of a good Probably. go for a lot of i don't think so people in the stuff, uh i mean people do go there to get stuff i get i get materials from there to yeah. create stuff yeah but i couldn't just buy something from spirit and wear it you know? just walk out yeah. and be like like because like, look at my punk skull mask you know yeah yeah hmm I'm thinking of. I'm trying to think of one now. What a person! Yeah, I want to see Hornswoggle do a dark. You want to see well, the, the Leprechaun? Yeah, <laughs> it's that, like, oh, it's he, a did. Type he like that. did. He did yeah, Leprechaun. He, he did. Yeah, he oh, was. He I was Leprechaun. That. I missed. That. He was. Uh, it's it's not great. Just, no, well. I want him like Ernest Scared Stupid. Like he turns kids into wooden dolls. Type <laughs> of thing, you know. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, never seen Ernest Scared Stupid. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen oh, our. Say, I've oh, seen our. Wait, wait, how much nineties yeah, were we talking know, about? Right? I've seen our. Scared it. stupid. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Who are we talk about here? Uh, I was just telling the one kid, that, one yes, kid, uh, who's debuting that he needs to. Uh, he's gonna have from Ernest goes to camp. Like the stone will not break you. Like that should be his whole thing. <laughs> so he's just sitting there getting arrows shot at him or something. Uh, Partner <laughs> saying Bailey goes cr- goes crazy ex girlfriend stalker on somebody. Mm. Uh, oh, Green Lee. didn't that broken bride type of thing? Yeah, yeah. Ch- Chelsea Green did yeah. a good job she of that. Good, I don't think Bailey could do anything. No, like that, so. no, not on that level. I don't know. She pulls the, it. The from thing somewhere. is, her making it believable. Too. Yeah, yeah. Because I think she's too happy for that. I, like, uh, and this is not. We're also. I not, hate people, so it's really easy for me to do this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is not an extension for you. No, it's, no, no. Making kids cry is is that's my joy. <laughs> <laughs> that's your happy place. That's my happy place. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if, that kid's crying. It's yeah. a good night. He is, he sleeps when more I, soundly. Yeah, when they're sitting there, I'm just scared the shit out of him. Like, <laughs> nice. um, that's the working in a haunted house coming out of me too. So yes, yes, it'd be kind of fun to to like if Ricky the Dragon Steamboat did something like that back in the day. He was a dragon. So if he does it now, it'll be like just a Shao Kahn or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, Tina's saying, uh, and help me on the reference here, is Lena, is Lena Vega bringing Akasha to life? I'm not familiar with Akasha. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Cosplay. That's Mortal Kombat. It's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> just anybody becoming a Mortal Kombat character except for Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Literally, anyone except for Ronda Rousey. Can we talk about that for a second? I don't even register that as her voice or yeah. uh, either. The, the voice acting in that was terrible for her. Everybody else is like on point and great, and it's just her is like. That's because they all cast voice actors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, does anybody remember Queen of the Damned? Oh, yes. oh so yeah. Zelina yeah, Vega like as uh, as uh, uh, the Queen of the yeah. Damned. Lady. I can see. Yeah, That'd so Vampire is Lady Vega. I think she has range because again, mm-hmm. oh, she yeah, pulled off range. such a good AJ Lee in that in that uh, Page movie. Mm-hmm. Like it, it took a second to be like, is that that guy? That girl looks a lot like Zelina Vega, but acts a lot like uh, AJ. Yeah, Lee. we just watched it. It was uh, crazy. Like we go, I was like, hey, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. I do think it was kind of funny they couldn't give her AJ's actual gear though. Really. Like it yeah. took me out of the movie that she was wearing a robe. Dude, I'm there's like, a lot more like... than that that took me out of the movie. I mean, it was a good movie, but I feel like we know too much about NXT to like believe it mm-hmm. a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. it, like it was. Vince Vaughn's down there right now. Yeah, what's that? It's Vaughn <laughs> just hanging out there in my head. I mean, in my head, down there hope so. people to get dodge, dive, ducking. In my head, Vince Vaughn is is Matt Bloom. But also that means that Matt Bloom like what jumped off a cage or something. Sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, what? The- but sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry, Bobby. I didn't yeah, see it yet. Damn uh, it. Deep cuts. Sorry. Uh, that might be it. Just write it yourself. I can't ever watch it. <laughs> Jeez. Can we go? How about Miz? Ah. Can go dark. Yeah. He can go see. dark. He can go it's over the deep end. Almost anything. Yeah. I mean, again, he's got the range. I watched three of the four of his Marine movies, and I'm completely all in on him uh, going going off the deep end. He couldn't do his uh, show with his wife, though, if he's going no. off the deep end. No, you have to separate it a little bit. Yeah. 
Um, oh, but, unless, unless he was like that on the show too. That'd be amazing. <laughs> he's just full on. <laughs> where he just comes in and he has like a death he's clock like, playing. Broke, <laughs> broke <laughs> <laughs> just sharpening a sword. Uh, their kid just starts being creepy kid from every horror movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah Mumro's just... guy's head just starts spinning around in circles. <laughs> hey, you know what? That is that just is comes a crawling down the stairs. That is a Miz and Misses I will definitely <laughs> watch. Uh, what, what would Marjo do? I think they should just become the Adams family. Ooh, uh, there you go. Well, there's a there's like a cartoon movie coming out with them, right? Uh, oh, CGI one. Yeah, is it CGI? Is it CGI? Probably everything's CGI. It looks. Not Speaking great. about back in the day, those movies are great. The yes. Adams family. I don't know why. Oh my god! I've, always... I've often said if I could, if I could revitalize, like, bring back to life one actor just for one role, it would be Raul Julia for Adam's Family. Oh, I thought you were saying the hand. Anybody... Yeah, the, the hand was good, right? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, is anybody else just kind of jam the Adams Family MC Hammer song every once in a while? Mm-hmm. A yeah, it just man. like like it'll just play some Adams Family and some uh, Will Smith Men in Black, and then um, just Wild Wild West. That. Wild Wild West. I mean, Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West the song. The song was than... the best part of the movie. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I like them collars they wear though. Yeah, those were cool. It was like Kung Lao. Saw, yeah, where the saws came out and like tried mm-hmm. to cut their heads off. Mm. Yeah, those were sweet. Oh, that's right. That was like first saw giant, traps. The giant like, if you think about it. story on its own. It's like Western saw traps. Well, let us know. If <laughs> oh, you... you know who could do a really good evil gimmick? Mm. Jack Gallagher. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just turn him into Jack the Ripper. Just yeah. turn him into Jack the Ripper. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. That'd be really... I don't know why that just popped in my head, but that would be really, really fun. What if Drew, that's the wrong name, Drew McIntyre, did, like, he rolled into an Undertaker-type gimmick? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scottish, Scottish I, Undertaker. I don't think he has the chops to pull that off. I think he's kind of, when you look at him, he's pretty intimidating on his own. Yeah. So. I would love to see him do, at least, like, an, like how they just did all the Shawn Michaels, like, dress-up photo shoots with everybody. I'd like to see him. Dresses Undertaker to see like purple glove Undertaker. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah be classic Undertaker. Yeah, like, not like American badass. No, no, Undertaker. not American badass. Like classic. <laughs> it could be purple glove. Could be. Uh, I just got introduced. Uh, uh, and brother love is my manager. Mm. Uh, like I'm good with that too. These are the. I'm, I'm good with this. I, I just would like to see at least that brother love actually in the photo, right? Now they can now, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's or they uh, could just throw dude love in there and just Tita, throw everybody off. Tina's calling out Nightmare on My Street with Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh That's Prince. Amazing. Maybe just me. Hey, hey, but yeah, of course. <laughs> Come on. You don't know old catalog Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. You need to go experience that on whatever streaming service you subscribe to. Because we know you do. Freaking millennials. Hey. Yeah, you get Spotify, I mean, you do. get free Hulu. There you go. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. If you got Spotify premium, you get Damn it, we need basic an offer Hulu. code. We need off code. I don't know. It was just on the app for Spotify. And so. that may change now that Disney owns Hulu. We'll see. That's a, that's another. <laughs> we talk about that on the other podcast. Hey, I want to give a shout out to our friend OccupyProWrestling.com. Pro Wrestling is a wild and crazy art form, and Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to look at what makes it fun. Featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans, Occupy Pro Wrestling is bringing the smart back in smart market. Check them out at OccupyProWrestling.com. Check out the merch. A lot of good stuff there. Uh, that we're digging on, uh, that we picked up, <laughs> we picked up directly from the source last time we were hanging out in California with uh, Alex down there. So go check out. Is that a confirmation? Because I we were I, I was trying not to overpromise. Jakar and Fifteen Podcast uh, return is in the works. What? A lot of good interviews, including Bryce Res- Bryce Remsberg that we were talking about before. I believe uh, had an appearance on there too. So. All right. Um, from there, I love that we do have a scare house ad on this show. <laughs> <laughs> we should. As you do. I guess we should mention that my, um, uh, Money in the Bank is this weekend, and no one's oh, going yeah. to watch it because yeah. Game of Thrones ends. Hey, I don't know. After last week, maybe Game of Thrones should have a ladder match. Do we want to talk about Game of Thrones? <laughs> Actually, do we want to no dragons allowed? Because that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, we're down to one. Uh, spoilers? Should I call spoilers? Well, on Game I, of I don't know. You could say whatever you want. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones by now, fuck you. Well, you're I've the, watched oh, like the first wow. season. Whoa. And I was like, meh. 
Hey, there's dragons, dragons and there's it's ice the zones. only appointment viewing TV left. Like, um, so there was kind of a pro wrestling style backlash on Game of Thrones. It wasn't me. It was <laughs> wasn't my fault. Thank you, Carlos. My cousin Drogon. He needs therapy. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, so there's. He had to get his two cents in. There is an. I mean, you guys have seen the memes of. Oh, hey, that's how we feel every week, uh, with Game of Thrones. Uh, but that that was an interesting kind of feedback from that. Um, but yeah. So, so Mike, you think you think just because we have an hour, you don't think we're just gonna skip like a middle hour of Money in the Bank as wrestling fans? I mean, I'm I'm probably. I want. I'm curious how they book the show. Like. Like so if, they, if they front load the card, if they front no, load, no, the I'm, card. I'm, no, I'm serious. I think they, I think they may front. They load the did card this before, didn't country. they? Didn't they do this when they were up against uh, some Academy Awards or something? Yeah, but that's a different. That's a different thing. But there was there was something that was like an hour in the middle of the night, like and and now that we're booking pay per views like we do Raw against like you know the finals or monday night football or something like that that's such a weird concept yeah, yeah. for a thing that used to be the 60 dollar thing right yeah now it's 9.99 now it's 9.99 yeah, and, we, and people could go and watch it later on if they really wanted yeah to, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so are we doing like, it for i don't know live? are they are yeah are they really worried about the live numbers or because people are going to watch it regardless mm-hmm. i'm having friends over and then i'm going to watch game of thrones afterwards so there you go i i, I, I have the internet I had posed that. Oh, no, I don't. I don't go on the internet when people are over. Because when they um when we're they're doing the money in the bank um, um watch party here with without me, uh Sunday and I was suggested like well why don't you just go to Game of Thrones when it comes on and then pick up where you left off on money in the bank. So mm-hmm. are you going to right? Westeros? Am I go? Why am I going to Westeros? No, Westeros no, I'm, I'm going out west, but I'm, I don't Westeros? know. Westeros. No, out west. Oh okay. <laughs> Um, stay away from King's Landing. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not great these days. Um, <laughs> so I honestly, this is the most, this is the least I've been interested in a Money in the Bank. It felt like it was the number five pay per view, right? Like it, it felt like it was the next thing, like other than the Big Four. It's still my second favorite pay per view. I really only watch Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, so. Right, and then yeah. it's just, hey, we just wait till next year, right? As far as, like, actually falling, falling. If they do it right this year, it could be amazing. If they don't drop the ball like they did the last two years. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's it. We're just kind of waning on it because we're yeah. talking, we're, we're seeing our Braun Strowman's and our Baron Corbett's. So we're like, oh, this doesn't matter as much as it used to be. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, this isn't saying this is our next guy. This is a, just the next step, you know, they, to, they... to do something. It's because they they don't let people hold the briefcases now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the last one I did was Carmella, right? And ever literally everyone else within like two months of having the briefcase, mm-hmm. they're all gone. Is is Money in the Bank a bygone concept? Are we uh, are yeah. we out out of creative ideas? Because before it was like, oh man, he can completely just come in and, and cash it in. Right now it feels like. Every promotion has a version of that, you know, whether it be well, that's because every promotion does have a version. They do have oh, a version of that. Oh, Lucha Underground had a version. Lucha of that. Underground definitely had a version of that. Um, shamelessly, right? Some some have a golden yeah. ticket. Some have, uh, you know, some other whatever a trophy or something. You want a tournament? That means oh, you can do laptop. A laptop. Cashing in, yes, cashing a laptop. The, <laughs> a button, if you will. A button. Yes. I wish I would have just yeah. gave him one of them red buttons that usually when you press it, it goes. We're of course talking about Jackson. Bleep button. Jackson. I batteries in this. Dang it. What's the, oh, oh yeah, he's got, got his one. button. See, yeah, you, there he yeah, goes. Button. You could cash oh, it man. in at any time. You too could be the high stakes. Yeah. Cashing in on Sorg and taking over the show. Oh, it's my new job. <laughs> it's already been a rough night for me. <laughs> Did you see the video? <laughs> the <laughs> the video from earlier. <laughs> Jeez, my eyes are still kind of burning, right. um, and I don't—I still don't understand why things smell like bacon. Uh, but anyways, um, what's that? Pig's blood. Pig's blood happens. Oh, jeez. Um, warmed it up for you. So you gotta get tested. I gotta get tested. <laughs> <laughs> Hope oh, you're vaccinated. Oh no! Oh no! I think oh, it's really oh, measles. I don't know. Oh no! no actually, that's a problem here in town. That's a real problem yeah. here in town. Yeah. So oh, believe me, whenever I was in Jersey. Uh, they put me in a pediatrics unit in the ER. 
And I was like, great, I'm going to get measles or something now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of glad I don't drive Lyft these days. But uh, anyways, yeah. it's not the time for random interactions. Catch the plague. Catch the plague. Infect the world, right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> On brand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I I was trying to make a point that it, I don't know where I'm we're sorry. at. <laughs> but, like Money in the Bank, it, they haven't given it to good people in the mm-hmm. past couple of years. Are we like, lacking? Didn't need it. I don't even remember who who was the guy that had it before Braun. Mm. Corbin. Yeah, Corbin. It was Corbin. No. Yeah. yeah. Recent years. Baron for sure. Corbin. No, I know Corbin had it, but I felt like there was someone in between then. I don't think there was. Yeah. Again, it's it's not it's not as guaranteed anymore. It's not going on people that are uh, cashing it in. It's not creating as many opportunities. Maybe when Carmella did, maybe when uh, who won it last year and used it? Was it Alexa? Alexa used it right away. Alexa used it right away. She used it that night. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hey, we are running into Becky having two women's defenses. Becky two belts. Becky two belts means Becky two matches uh, with Lacey Evans and Charlotte. Um, But uh, uh, which was an interesting segment last night. But. you know, which seems right for setting up for somebody's going to come and swoop in at the end, right? Whoever that may be. So they yeah, very I, I, I don't know how that works. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Or, hmm, there's a couple scenarios you could run there. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody from the money in the bank replaces, but also has the thing and cashes. I don't know. Who Dean Ambrose won a year before Corbin did. Oh yeah, Did yeah, and Dean I don't even remember Dean Ambrose having it. Yeah, Did he remember. cash in the same night that slime that come out of it that Roman beat Rollins for the title or something? Could be. Maybe. Oh no, he cashed in that night. Yeah, he, it was Ro- the main event was Roman versus Seth for a WWE title. Uh, Seth won, then Dean cashed in on Seth, and Dean won. Right. So that was the night where all three members of the Shield were champions. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So like. So that's why Money in the Bank seems worthless because Corbin cashed in at the dumbest time mm-hmm. and lost. Ambrose cashed it in that same night. And Braun, they just completely fucked up Braun. So that's why it seems like right. a worthless thing. It, to it's, a, it's a long in the tooth concept. You know, I, at least uh, it feels like Rumble is getting li- livened up a little bit, whether it be with you know Nia Jack coming in and having a women's rumble so now we can do some scenarios with that roster right uh but i just i i think it's like we're so dulled to multi-man ladder matches at this point mm-hmm. you know as far as wwe's version yeah right? not nxt not nxt no 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 where's nxt's version of money in the bank right um yeah, they may have that at the next takeover they should really I mean, to me, look at my veins. What could they be the? It, would, would it would it also be a briefcase, or can it be like the, you know, Dusty's boot? Dusty's boot. <laughs> you can hang Dusty's boot over. <laughs> Money in the boot. Money in the oh, boot. Oh no! <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. Money in the boot. <laughs> okay. Anyways, on that like note, bank. on that note, <laughs> we, we we can't we can't go any further than money in the boot. Uh, I want to give a shout out to our friends, the Scare House. Um, they are having, uh, they just had a return of the basement this past weekend. A little bit of the greatest hits of what was going down there. A great interactive. I know Ronnie Starks was very excited about that. Uh, but uh, they are also doing an 80s night this week for Rogue Laser Grounds, their uh, laser tag experience. And this is the last laser few days. Tag in the scare house. They have laser tag in the scare house, that's, and man, it is that's Waver City. Amazing! No, no, no. They redid an entire uh, section of it, okay. so it's this it's really cool, like neon uh, uh, situation there, right? And uh, we we actually got to play it. I believe uh, Lee Morardi, uh, um, I said his own name, Victor Benjamin, and uh, oh, who else was with us? Was it Ronnie? I think Ronnie was with us too. We had some, we had a lot of people out there. Uh, it, we, it was a blast. They have a, an infection mode where nice. uh, the you know somebody starts as a zombie and infects everybody. You got to try to last five minutes, right? We can never get past it. Speaking, <laughs> I found my WWE zombie figures. Hold, hold on a second, Bobby. 
<laughs> what the heck? I found two of them. I, I also have a that? page one. Sasha but I don't know Banks and is that Paige? It's Oscar. Is Oscar, a of course it is. Yeah. Jeez. Anyways, go check it out. Scarehouse.com, RugLaserGrounds.com, and uh, join them uh, later this, uh, this week uh, for 80s night. They actually changed the music and the sounds on the guns. So they well, they did a Star Wars night a couple weeks ago oh, where so it sounded it like the Star Wars. It was, yeah. yeah, the the the, the bla- blaster sounds. Uh, so it's going to be a very... Song, but it's just the brood theme. <laughs> do you... Uh... Do you know about the brood theme? The br- wh- Have you ever played the brood intro backwards? No. The the no 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 no. You need to dead. do it. I need to do it. What yes. does it say? It sounds like I like hairy balls. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God. Do it right now. I, 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 if you could do it right now, that was Edge and Christian. I bet. Like it. It does it. Somebody I on some message board back in the day. Somebody wrote it. And I had a great thing with like ICP songs, stuff like that, where I the stuff they had backwards. Yeah, yeah, they had a lot. I'd want to know what they were saying, so I'd go and I'd get them my little computer microphone to the stereo <laughs> because you know we didn't have the technology we did this day, mm-hmm. and the little sound recorder on uh, Windows, and mm-hmm. I'd reverse it and see what it said. Brood theme, I'm telling you, do it. Um, you can nice. Google brood theme backwards. Uh, <laughs> or that you so go. Here, the great thing is somebody probably did it for you yeah no i'm no it's on youtube right now i'm loading it up as we speak there you go oh no um, it's if mike burns in in easter egg flames well i guess two easter eggs that are here yeah, flames just pop up and just mike lowers <laughs> he goes to his basement that'd be the greatest gonna blow your mind. show Oh no, it's in the, it's in the Facebook right now. This is in the blue <laughs> mind, I'm telling oh, you. Uh, Tina says a good cash in for Money in the Bank was Orton back in 2013. No. Bobby, Bobby, no. isn't, isn't that the year that, that we were at BW3s at Buffalo think, Wild Wings? I hated that cash in. I hate everybody knows I don't like Ranger. <laughs> Bobby like got up and walked away. Yeah, he got yeah. super. It does. Right it there. does kind of sound like Harry Balls. I don't know if it's doctored, I told but you. no, it's not doctored because I took that off of the soundtrack that I had. Wow, that's insane. Was it yeah. uh, Volume Three? WWE uh-huh. the Music Volume Three? Yeah, yeah. that's a good stuff. They had the ICP track too, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, it it did. had oddities. I hate that they they take out the ICP music. That's ridiculous on sure, the that's network because that's because they don't have the rights for it. Right. But Another great uh, wrestling soundtrack was ECW. Really? Yeah. They had all the good ones. Mm. Sabu's thing, RBD. But they were all me- remade by other bands because, you know, okay. couldn't do uh, Interstate Man. Man in the Box. Like yeah. Okay. Uh, snap Your Finger, Snap Your Neck. It was done by somebody else. But they, yeah. but they still use the real stuff at, at uh-huh. the shows, too. Yeah. Interesting. Music music rights get so weird on that level. That's like, yeah, it's like uh, the One Night Stand pay-per-view when Sandman didn't come out to enter Sandman. You're like... Well, no, he did live. No, he did no, live, yeah, but did. watching it, but yeah. watching it, you're like, what? It's, it's, it's why I don't watch a lot of ECW, because so much is Doctor. Well, I mean, you gotta look with well. Metallica and Napster, I can't watch, so of course they don't want I can't to watch music. any New Jack match. <laughs> yeah, the New Jack <laughs> like, match. I'm ridiculous. sorry, watching a New Jack match on the WWE Network is freaking impossible. So they just that put like, they just scary. put some background it, yeah, it's dubbed the, and stuff. it's the most generic shit they could find and it's like and, and creating somebody in n64 and get it. putting their music on they're doing it in mass but they are ruining this old stuff yeah and but, it's yeah, a but shame. there's no there's no other way to do it i know there's no other way to do it that doesn't make it okay it doesn't make it okay and watchable you know what i mean like I, honestly I, what many, they should do is they should just cut the audio for it somebody edit benny hill into the background <laughs> During New Jack matches? No, I ship that. that no, let's, let's do that. So somebody has to have that. It's got to already exist on YouTube, yeah, right? Definitely exists somewhere. Uh, but New Jack Benny Hill. Let's just do that. Googling it now. My one, <laughs> my one time seeing New Jack in person, he rapped in the ring. I think he had retired that night. This was around WrestleMania 29. He's definitely wrestled since. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So been a few shows with him. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Jeez. Um. Anyways, hey, it's that time of the show. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? Anybody? Anybody? I learned a lot 
about the Detroit pro wrestling scene. Yeah. I learned about the, oh, I'm going to mess it up. Is it the Malone family? Somebody's going to answer. Somebody's going to get this for me. Um, I think it is the Malone family. Um, it was like this dynasty of wrestlers up there. And I think MM3 is a member of that. And and I know um, Andrew out there, uh, Donardo, um, I guess he used to watch a lot of indie wrestling in, in that area uh, previously. And, uh, and, and uh, what was he calling? MM3 versus somebody local on this end, like, like facade or something um would be a great match but uh i learned about that i learned about some other some some other guys that uh were coming up through uh, uh a lot of stuff about Cobo hall during that and uh it was it was pretty cool to see that because mm. I, I think i think we forget that all of our indie wrestlingness kind of happens in these microcos- microcosms i mean you've seen this with the pittsburgh area everybody thinks you know this is all <sighs> you know indie wrestling is all this big monolithic thing and then it's just like nobody knows who x y and z are right Mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know who rise with a y is unless they listen to the show and we say that all the time to decipher them from the women's show right or or what a pwx is or or rwa or any of these ones right and and that happens and and like i've never heard of international big time wrestling they've been around 12 years and a guy that i follow owns it in the rude boy yeah no idea like then never yeah, came up, right? And we both follow that stuff. We both mm-hmm. follow, follow the Juggalo stuff, and no idea that that was a thing. We just knew JCW happens at the gathering, in some yeah. random like record things. You were on a thing in town with with them, oh, you know. That Cleveland show was so fun. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You did the Cleveland one. You didn't do the Pittsburgh. Did, uh, one. Cleveland and did we do Indianapolis? I think we were talking about this is the this is the uh, uh, it was a CD release tour that they did. ICP did not play, but they were there. And there was wrestling and people performing in the ring. No, this was this Happy different. Days tour that I did. Happy Days tour. I don't yeah. know that one. Yeah, it was uh, them, Kitty, Coolio, and they had wrestling. They had wrestling. Yeah. Wait, it was before the show, and so you opened for Coolio. <laughs> well, there was a couple matches, you know. Yeah, but I, I think one of them we were in like a battle royal. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. That's crazy. That's yeah, awesome. Easiest way to get over. You just go whoop whoop and. Yep. They do it in the masses, and they're like, oh, okay, woo. <laughs> this guy's on my side. Yeah, there's actually a clip of uh, the one lead singer of Kitty on the Happy Days tour. Like, she's talking, I'm in the background beating a facade. You hear me go, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a, it's a whole other, um, when you go to, it, it's a lot different wrestling audience. Like, oh, it's not yeah. even like a hardcore wrestling audience or uh you know it, it's just the juggalo wrestling audience it yeah. just it's just completely just different see madness yeah um bobby what'd you learn this week i learned that vince mcmahon is certifiably insane well, well you have evidence to back this thesis bobby there 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 was an article on i think it was uh pro, pro wrestling mania where they talked about how uh, triple h is really frustrated Mm -hmm. and just i mean like i know this is garbage train stuff whatever (laughs) like he should you call it garbage train stuff yeah what does that mean like they're cheats whatever okay but like it it was one of the writers like somebody that knows one of the writers called in to say about it um he doesn't keep track of what's going on with nxt and just just craps on everybody that comes up hence viking experience yeah, and they said Triple H like is like consoling people backstage because like it's a mess. And mm-hmm. like Andrade walked into his office and asked for it to be pushed. Mm-hmm. And he told him speak English. <laughs> then you get a push. Cool. Like seriously. Wow. Yeah. And, and this is all I mean, this is all hearsay. This is all dirty. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is this is I I, let's, I believe let, it. Let's just say that the <laughs> Bobby. Uh <laughs> This is a hypothetical situation that could or could not be happening as told on articles, right? Um, so, fake I don't know. News. Fake news. Um, fake news. Wrestling used to be... Yeah. I mean, we used to just know it as wrestling dirt sheets. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I, I don't know why they just don't end the brand though. split. I think they kind of did with this wild card deal. Yeah, I don't know. It's just they they're just throwing everybody. everybody everywhere. It feels like yeah, yeah. yeah. They're it's just like, trying it's to like see whose line works. is in anyways. Uh, the show's made up, and the rules don't matter. 
Welcome, welcome to WWE. Yeah. <laughs> Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I'm sure it was something about Macho Man. No. Uh, um, <laughs> no for I, reasons. I tried, I tried not to learn about Macho Man as much as I possibly could. Um, what did I learn this week? Uh, I learned that if you let talent shine through they can still make a bad show watchable. Hence the last hour of Raw last night. Mm-hmm. Like Cesaro, Rey Mysterio, great. The- Firefly Funhouse, great. Yeah. Like, it's not hard. They have all the talent in the world. They have some of the best talent in the world. Mm-hmm. Like, they just need to be reminded of that. Or let the talent be, let, let the talent use their talent, right? Yeah, we because got, Cesaro versus Rey Mysterio. The point, Jeez, that was a great match. The point where Mysterio was on his shoulders, they both tumble over the top rope, mm-hmm. and then they and just Cesaro stand up on his feet with with Rey with, on his with Rey on his shoulders. Just any match where Cesaro does the swing into the barrier, and Rey Mysterio is used as a weapon, is a five star match in my book. There were dueling six one nines yeah. in that match. Oh, that's right. Cesaro, Cesaro is like eight it. feet Cesaro taller than Ray. Mm-hmm. Nice. Like, Corey, you were in a match with Mysterio yeah. last year. Oh, a year ago, it yeah. Fun. It was oh, a tag yeah. match it's with crazy. Fushima, DJZ. Bah, 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 bah. Who just arrived at the the Performance Center. Yes. Yes, yes he did. Yes. I, and he, he, was, he was acknowledged as DJZ yes. and also his real name, which I feel like you're going to hear more often, Michael Paris. I just hope he doesn't. They don't make him like some kind of French painter or something. Yeah. yeah no, oh, jeez. He's just throwing croissants at people. Yeah, wait, well, he is. He is part French, right? Don't tell them that. Don't tell <laughs> they them. Know that. They know now. <laughs> you just said French it. Man. Don't make them. Yeah. Don't yeah. let them. Remember the Alleged. last time Frenchmen were in NXT? Don't let them watch the National they, Geographic special about him. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorg, you don't want to remember the last time Frenchmen were in NXT. They got shaved bald. What? Oh, I missed that. La year. Resistance? No. Yeah. Um, no Sylvester Lafort and Marcus Louis. And uh, oh. Louis turned into like the hunchback in Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wow. looked like that. He looked like Sloth from the Goonies. Did he used to like, drag himself on a rug like, like a dog that had an itchy butt. <laughs> Oh no, that's the that? revival, Bobby. <laughs> oh yeah, don't even bring that up. That pisses me off more than anything. Uh, womp, you have womp. the two best tag teams, and and maybe the world, and they're feuding over itchy balls. Well, this is <laughs> not a shampoo commercial in Japan. Uh, Gory, what did you I, learn I, from wrestling this I week? Still want to see who has that? What name. did I learn? Yes, uh, you had an you, eventful if, weekend. If you kidnap somebody's girlfriend, the fans get really mad. <laughs> 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 we were talking about this off air a little bit. Um, you're with the. It was like a, a triple promotion show, right? Yeah. This past um, weekend, it was a night to remember. It was called. That's what they called it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pro Wrestling Empire Legacy. There's a few other promotions that were involved. Mm, kind of a super show situation. Yeah. Cool. It was fun. It yeah. was at a like a barrel racing place. <laughs> like barrel racing. Of, yeah. Well, really? I mean, like like one of. Uh, like fair show places. Okay. They had they didn't have dirt floor or anything. Thank <laughs> God, because we did one of them before and it was pretty crazy. Yeah, hey, at least I remember. I remember. Uh, you know, it was mentioned recently on TV gar- behind Gargano's catering when there was like gravel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like mid July August. Yeah. And it gets hot in Cleveland. My paint tanned. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You had yeah. the ICP problem at the gathering. Uh, almost. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was it was tinted, but I had an outline for the next time I had to do it, so it was all oh, right. Oh, good. Yeah, it's just like I'll paint by numbers at this point, right? <laughs> Jeez, it's <laughs> awesome. No, but this is indoors. It was it was pretty nice. That's awesome. And again, there's a promo that we talked about where they're the uh, kidnapping of uh, Danny, uh, um, and and just the you just sneaking up on them sleeping it was weird. Um, Luckily, I made uh, friends with Lap's cat way before this. So oh, good. He didn't have to oh, good. Yeah. The cat is a th- well, that's the cat from India, right? No, no, no. Lap's is the one he had before. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, but uh, and you guys had a great match out there, and uh, go look that up. And yeah, uh, I'm sure they'll have definitely. it up somewhere. They should have it on DVD soon. So there you go. 
DVD. DVD, maybe? I don't know. DVD, Shannon? VOD, know something. Who knows? What yeah. the, whatever that company does. Pay by view. Pay, pay VHS, by view. Something. VHS. Betamax. Yeah. Somebody offered me. Laser disc. Somebody, Laser disc. somebody offered they me. They might something. have them on high eights. HD oh. DVD. I think somebody offered me Betamax. Ugh. What would you do with it? Well, it was, uh, somebody was looking for VHS's like old like family movie dumps on YouTube. That's and, and creepy. Had, uh, well, Why for, would you want to just well, I think, watch I think it's for like an art project, like a uh, video art project kind of thing. Like, stuff, like, like I mean, we have friends. Our friends at the Thrifty Podcast like um, get old cassette tapes or record music to cassette tapes and then re-digitize them to get the cassette sound. Like that m- muffly. Really? Yeah, this is a thing that happens. It's like people I going do and doing that. vinyl. Yeah, you know, or recording like straight the vinyl, vinyl, like the the three man, um, three man. Um, I'm trying to remember the three man. Three man no, band. no, not three man band. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> the Jack White Recording Studio in Nashville, three man group, something like that. Third man, third man, third man records. That's it. They just go straight to vinyl. They, they have a booth and uh, it records straight to vinyl. That's crazy. So there was a girl there. There was a, a video I did because Farnsworth. I got a. We're going off the rails again. There's a guitar, a little wax guitar I had I, that you could have made there with this machine that's like from museums and stuff. And behind me was a booth. And this girl was. She had her guitar. And she went in. She was doing songs. She was live streaming on Facebook. I talked to her while I was doing my video. She was streaming to her people because i was talking about how there's a video of weezer like recording a song in there um and it was very weird and super meta and kind of cool so hmm. nashville thank you farnsworth for telling me to go there by the way farnsworth farnsworth uh glory what's coming up for you where can people find you online online uh facebook.com slash jason glory on instagram is glory itw twitter is jason f and glory uh, you go to my YouTube page. I mm-hmm. have some matches up there. Just type in Jason Gore on YouTube and see most of my stuff. And there's a lot of stuff on IndieWrestling.us.network yes. and on the YouTube page. I believe we have a lot of your matches too. Yes, you do. Probably more coming. Many more coming. Many more coming. Okay. History of Jason Gore. <laughs> we'll get you that. We'll get you that. Uh, I think we need right. a. We need a. Gore vs. DJZ best of DVD. So. Ooh, just from the beginning. Just your matches. From the beginning. Wow, yeah, because we have that. We have the we have the first match hanging out there. You have the first match and I didn't see. Oh, uh-huh. I, somebody one of you has told me this story before. He might have told me last yeah. time he was in. It was because like, we actually wrestled in Black Diamond first. Oh, does anybody oh, have that? I might. You might. It's on a high eight tape. High eight. But <laughs> it was left in my trunk. Oh no! So Indeed. it might be gone forever. We didn't talk about we didn't talk about Jeff Farmer. Jeff Farmer? You didn't yep. have, you didn't have they didn't have a documentary about the Jeff Farmer tape that was found. What the of this crazy match. What? Oh, we'll have to talk about We'll have that. to do another after dark and talk about <laughs> Jeff Farmer. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Um oh wait, RWA this weekend for you, right? This is versus yeah, crazy RWA. Steve. What's that? Versus Crazy Steve. Versus crazy so. Steve. Yeah. Decay versus infection. That's gonna be good. Yeah. I can't wait to edit that one. Yeah. Um, unfortunately i'm out of town but uh and then i'll be at uh premiere on sunday premiere of championship versus, wrestling uh j rock daddy j rock so, daddy i'm gonna take him apart like a mr potato doll <laughs> you know what that was way better than my giving it up one time joke uh <laughs> jeez gonna give up farts one time <laughs> yes one by one time i'm gonna shove him in his back end wow <laughs> Well, I'm sure a lot of people want only to. one time because only one's not going to take them out and put I mean, them back in. Yeah, I mean that's, <laughs> that's just, just that's just ridiculous. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you everybody for joining us here in the chat, live, subscribing, and on Patreon. Thanks a lot, Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.